Hello athletes, families, friends, and coaches. We want to welcome you all to the Northeast Regional Championship hosted by the World Ninja League. Uh, today we are going to go over two of our course types, which are going to be the flow course and the challenge course. For this video here, we're going to be going over the flow course for the kids division, both male and female. Um, for the flow course, it is going to be the format that scores the athletes um, up to their first failure of an obstacle. And then the winner of the flow course will be the athlete that has made it the furthest, the fastest. All right. Um, now we're going to begin the rules walkthrough for the flow course. Um, first, we're going to start by introducing what the obstacle is. And then we're going to state whether there's going to be hands, feet, or both. Remember, everything that is not mentioned in the video is going to be assumed out of play, and anything that is mentioned um, in the video will be in play and be able to be utilized. Um, once we have provided a description of the obstacle, we will then have our wonderful tester here show us how to do uh, the obstacle. And uh, during this, we will also state that um, in our whole entire course that none of our platforms are going to be skippable uh, due to our close proximity rule. Additionally, please remember that uh, it is the athlete's responsibility to hit the buzzer uh, firmly here so that uh, it can go off and make sure that it is pressed. So that is both by the World Ninja League and Ninja Works. We want to just remind you guys, please hit the buzzer and make sure that it goes off. Once it does go off, you'll be able to see all the smoke and the lights and the cool things that Ninja Works has to provide. Um, and, you know, we can know that you have completed the course. Um, other than that, we want to thank you all for watching. And if you have any questions throughout the uh, competition or before your run, please reach out to any of the World Ninja League staff and we'll be able to help you with any of your questions. We want to wish you all the best of luck and let's get started with our first obstacle. So um, this is going to be your start platform, which is the red platform here. You're going to be able to utilize the red tops all the way up and through. And this black mat here is going to be your landing platform. So this will be your first obstacle. I'm going to also explain the second one so that our tester can do the both in succession to just kind of show you how the flow is going to work. Um, so after you land here, this is a start stop platform. So if you were to overshoot this platform, it would be a completion for the first obstacle, but a fail for the second. And the first obstacle is also a hands and feet. So it's both. I uh, just want to make sure you get through it. Moving on to our second obstacle. This is going to be your start platform here, the black mat. You'll be able to utilize the red ring to come on down and land on this red landing platform right here. Um, this is going to be both a hands and feet obstacle if you need for some weird reason, but we want to make sure you guys get through it. So we're going to have our tester here do um, the first two obstacles for us. Incidental contact with the blue mats, perfectly fine. Um, so that was the completion of our first two obstacles. Well done. Uh, moving on to our next obstacle. This is going to be a tornado pole. So this says red platform is going to be the start for your next obstacle. So uh, to just remember, coming off the second obstacle, since this is a start stop, please do not overshoot it um, so that you um, don't fail the third obstacle uh, by going past it. Um, so here, you're gonna be able to utilize this pole. It's gonna bring you on around and this blue landing platform and this red landing platform are both going to be in play for your landing platform. So both the red and the blue this weekend are going to be in play. Um, this is gonna be a hands and feet obstacle, so we will give a demonstration. Perfect. Um, so that is the completion of the third obstacle. This blue platform here is going to be a start stop platform. So please remember to not overshoot it and go over onto the gray carpet bonded foam. So you wanna stay on this because it'll be the start for your next obstacle. This blue platform, like I said, is your start. You will be able to utilize the purple mat here, go up onto the wall. If you use the white, perfectly fine, the wall. These two steps are gonna be in play. And then this red platform here, oh sorry, also this rope is in play. And this red platform here is going to be your landing platform. That is just a landing platform. So it is, uh, you can overshoot that one as long as you cross uh, the front plane of this obstacle. So you have to make contact with that landing platform and cross the plane. All right, we're gonna move on to a demonstration. Perfect, and that is a clear. 
Moving on over to our next obstacle into the Lachaise. The red start platform that our tester is standing on is going to be your start. You will be able to utilize uh, the bars here in all of these. And your green platform here is going to be your landing platform. Uh, this is going to be a hands only obstacle and we'll give a demonstration. Perfect. All right. So that was the completion of the Lachaise. Now moving on to the sideways. Um, this green platform is a start stop platform. So please do not overshoot it as it'll be a completion for the previous obstacle, but then a failure for the next. Um, so this green platform is going to be in play. You'll be able to then utilize both the outsides and the inside of the dog bone here. Um, and then for um, the next part, you'll be able to use this bar, this bar, and this red landing platform here is going to be your finish. So we'll get a demonstration. And clear, well done. All right, so moving on to our next obstacle, the boot scoot. This red platform here is going to be your start platform. You'll be able to utilize this black ring and you will make your way to this red platform here, be, uh, which is your finished platform. We'll get a demonstration. So that is a start stop platform. So please do not overshoot it because you will then fail the next obstacle if you were to go past it. Moving on to our um, next obstacle here. You will have this red platform as your start platform. You'll be able to utilize hands and feet on the uh, steps here, the angled steps. And you're going to land on this blue platform here as your finished platform. We'll also consider the red to be in play for the finished platform. For some reason, you got a really big jump you know, you never know. So both the blue and the red are going to be your finished platform. And demonstration. Great, well done. All right, so that is a clear. And now moving on to the next obstacle. So this red platform up here and the red platform down here are both in play for your start platform. So you can use either one if you want to jump from further back or if you wanted to start closer on this red platform, they are both in play. Um, this is going to be the TikTok. So you'll be able to utilize the TikTok here, all parts of the hexagon, this black ring, and the landing platform is going to be this green uh, platform here, not here. Um, you can utilize the front ring if you need and um, this is gonna be both a hands and feet obstacle. So demonstration. And clear. So this green platform is also gonna be the start platform for your next obstacle. So please don't overshoot it as it'll be a completion for your previous obstacle, but a failure for your next. Uh, moving on to the final and last obstacle of the flow course, it is going to be uh, this little cane slider. So you will be able to utilize these two uh, claws right here, slide down the bar. This red platform over here is going to be your landing platform. And then after you have landed on that platform, you'll make your way over to the NinjaWorks buzzer. Make sure you press it nice and firm so that it registers and all of our cool sound effects and lights and smoke machine goes off to signify the completion of your run. So I got a demonstration. And clear, well done. So that is a full course clear. Uh, again, this is the uh, kids, male and female course for our flow course. We wanna wish you all the best of luck and we can't wait to see you this weekend.